for Mia. Modern butterfly, all new legendary skin with all new experiences. Win it through the magic wheel, so it's probably not something that most people are gonna have. Hello there guys and welcome to this video. So, I have some pretty crazy patch notes for you guys here today that were just released on the advanced server. You guys are probably gonna look forward to this as well. So, first off, in this patch Akai is getting replaced. So this is the patch where we uh, will lose the old Akai and get the new Akai, which I... Yeah, uh, Rick Akai, I, I really like the old Akai, but... Yeah, this is the patch where old Akai is going to disappear and new Akai is going to replace him. So we have the skin for new Akai as well as new Akai. I'll just show you real quick if we go into tanks. We can only see one Akai for now, which is the new one with the fisherman skin, the summer party skin for Akai. And I mean, the skin looks nice and all, but... Uh, yeah, I don't know, I thought they would remake the sucker, the, the sucker skin, because like, I don't know, I kind of like the sucker skin more, but yeah, that's basically it for Akai. We then have some other pretty interesting news, guys, like this blew my mind, honestly, there's so much stuff here, which I did not expect at all. So, yeah, if we go into the next part, we can see Odette. A new hero which is coming, the Swan Princess. She's gonna cost 599 diamonds or 32,000 battle points and be 30% off the first week. And this hero has some crazy abilities, guys. So, in her first skill, she can summon a swan to attack the enemy, dealing magic power damage and reducing their movement speed. That's pretty sick, okay? This is the first hero that can actually summon something to fight for you. And I think that's pretty cool. I, I really like that ability. It sounds really, really cool. So, yeah, the second ability is called Blue Nova. And it fires a energy ball forwards, dealing damage to enemies when hitting them. And also binding them, which I guess means like stunning them. After the ball has reached either its maximum range or hits a target, two energy balls will strike out to the side, dealing magic damage and binding them as well. So basically, you will shoot three attacks in one, which is pretty freaking cool as well. Great for crowd control and stuff. Well, not really crowd control, but yeah, you, you understand. The ultimate is called Swan Song, and yeah. Performs a song that summons surrounding energy to damage nearby enemies every time dealing magic damage. It will also refresh the rebounding effect of Lakeshore Ambience and damage taken during the spell cast duration will be reduced. So basically you will become a bit tankier and deal a lot of damage. Really really nice ability and we then have the passive which is called Lakeshore Ambience. And basic attacks after a spell cast will be enhanced with a rebounding sound wave. The sound wave will be rebound against the nearby enemies dealing magic damage. So basically, after using an ability you will deal more damage on your basic attacks. It's really really cool and not really something that I expected. I guess this is this hero that was released just a few days ago or yesterday on, uh, on a survey. I'm not sure though. Could be something else, but it's a new mage that is coming to to the game. Really excited for that, really looking forward to some gameplay. We then have some new skins, guys, which I was not really expecting at all. The first skin being a legendary skin for Mia. Modern Butterfly, all new legendary skin with all new experiences. Win it through the magic wheel, so it's probably not something that most people are gonna have. It's gonna be really, really expensive. But you'll get a special avatar and a shareable picture. We then have a new Kagura skin, Sakura Miko, for 749 diamonds. Okay? That's insane. 749 diamonds for a skin for Kagura. I, I did not really expect that at all. But, uh, yeah, a new legendary skin for Mia and a new skin for Kagura. 
both of them are releasing soon, so looking forward to that. We then have some hero adjustments, and uh, yeah, some spell adjustments, some new effects, or well, new events and features, I should say. They've switched around the spinner in the spider's position, so the blue buff will be where the small spider was. The crab, the reaper, and the spinner will no longer grant health to the killer, so they removed that feature. The goblin, ghost mage, and giant mouth monster will heal medium amounts of health and small amounts of mana on kill, and the spider will heal a small amount of health on kill. They've also changed some battle equipment stuff. Level 2 slash 3 jungle equipment will now grant mana and health when you kill a jungle monster, which is gonna be a pretty good reason to upgrade your jungle items. Pretty insane. Some upgrades to Scarlet Phantom, unique passive, frenzy, attack speed from critical strikes changed from 35 to 25%, so it's getting a small nerf. Blade of Despair no longer provides 10% critical chance, 25% attack speed changed from 25 to 10%, and physical damage changed from 130 to 170. Build Path is now Legion... Legion Sword? Build path is now Legion Sword times two for the dagger. So I, I don't really know which item Legion Sword is, but as you can see, like there's a lot of item changes here. So yeah, Blade of Despair is getting a small nerf, I guess. Blade of Seven Seas unique passive change from to Steamroll. Remade effective damage dealing skills will also reduce the target's physical defense by 25 points. Holy crap, that's a lot. <laughs> Bloodlust Axe changed build path to high iron hunting bow times two plus dagger. Never heard of that one either, but okay. Build path item pricing is different, but total item cost is the same. Hunter Strike changed build path to Legion Sword plus Iron Hunting Iron Hunting Bow plus Dagger. Build path item pricing is different, but total item cost is the same. Demon Hunter Sword. Change build path to regular spear plus dagger plus vampire mallet. Build path item pricing is different, but total item cost is the same. And battlefield equipment, some new additions, the iron hunting bow, which is probably why I've never heard of it before. It gives you 10 physical damage, 5 cool 5% cooldown reduction, and it's for a total price of 450 gold, and also regular spear. 20 physical damage, 10 attack speed. And you build it from a great sword plus a dagger. Total price 600 gold. So that's basically it for the updates of this patch now. And holy crap, I did not expect this at all. A new Kakra skin for 749 diamonds? Oh my god. Oh, and also some heroes are getting a nerf. Like, Fanning is getting her energy regeneration speed from 5 to 3. So she's getting a pretty, pretty heavy nerf. But, um, yeah, guys. That's it for these patch notes. I really, really hope you look forward to the skins because I really look forward to the skins as well. So, yeah, I'm gonna try and upload stuff as soon as it hits the servers. But, um, yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.